video being on Jedi service. Now, as a Jedi, what do you do when you're in the situation? Now, earthquakes, hurricanes, tornadoes, all of this have uh, different means of what you need to do. There's always preparation. Earthquakes kind of, they're gonna take you by surprise. There's not a lot you can do within that given situation except see to your safety. And that kind of goes for all, all, all of it. That goes for all of it. You have to see to your safety, otherwise you're not gonna be any good to anyone, right? You're not gonna be able to help anyone if you don't uh, take care of yourself first. World betterment through self-betterment. You gotta, you gotta be good here before you can start stretching it out outward, and that applies within a crisis. You have to see to yourself and those around you, your immediate vicinity, right? Your sphere of responsibility. You need to take that into consideration, but you do have to take care of yourself. So like in an earthquake, door frames, uh, shelter, if you can be outside in an open area, then get away from the power lines, get away from things that can fall down on you, things of that nature. Hurricane, you prepare the best you can. You usually have warnings, so you prepare, you get your house in order, you do everything that you can to prepare and protect yourself and and get ready and evacuate if you if you need to. Uh, usually it's an evacuation, so you just protect your house as best you can, get your stuff together and evacuate in a timely manner. If you're unsure where to go, check your local Jedi community. Sometimes there's Jedi in the area or near enough by, not in the disaster area, but near enough by, like in a hurricane, maybe they're you know, a few towns out, outward that maybe you can go stay with them. Maybe they have an extra room or maybe they can help you uh, reach out to someone or something like that, you know? The Jedi community is a big place. We are very spread out. And sometimes that's, a, that's really difficult because there's no one in our area, but sometimes that means there's someone close enough by that can help us out. So it's always something to consider. Reach out to the community. Um, you never know. You never know who might be able to help you out. Again, tornadoes, don't be running around trying to, to, to help people, get to your shelter, uh, get to your bunker, get to your, your basement, whatever it may be, right? You have to take care of yourself first. Then afterwards, there's gonna be plenty to do. There's gonna be plenty you can do within that situation, but it, you don't wanna be, you don't wanna put yourself at immediate danger for maybe being able to, you might catch one person out there or something. like. You, don't put yourself out there trying to be a hero. Get to your safety, take care of yourself, take care of those around you, do your responsibility, your sphere of responsibility, and then extend that outward as you are able to. Violent attacks, like in Vegas, there's, that's, it's one of the scariest situations you can ever find yourself in, especially when in Vegas, it was someone up in a hotel room shooting down at this concert event, right? They weren't in a crowd. There's no one to tackle. There's no one to fight. There's no one to shoot back at. Like Americans always have this vision of a, a good guy with a gun uh, defeats a bad guy with a gun. But, you know, not all situations uh, work that way, such as this one. Uh, this is a person that was up with many assault rifles within the room and plenty of ammo and was just firing down on this event. And, and there's not a lot that you can do in that situation except see people to safety. You can, if you're in the middle of a crowd, you have to be careful because stampede is gonna injure people, it's gonna kill people. Um, people are going to be running, they're going to be panicking, so you have to be careful there. You're going to have to seek some sort of shelter. Again, you have to see to your safety, your sphere of responsibility. Try to get people in a, in a place that will be safe. And that can be really hard, especially if you don't know where the shots are coming from or, or what's going on. But consider what's around you. Do the best you can to keep that Jedi mind about you, right? Look around, be aware, be, keep your awareness about you. Consider knowledge, like what stops a bullet, what doesn't, you know, you can't hide behind a plastic trash can. That's probably not going to help you out. But the engine block of a car is a very thick and, and protective thing that you can hide behind. But within that situation, you just want to kind of guide people to exits. You want to, you want to keep, 
Again, you're gonna to wanna to keep your head down as much as possible, but you're gonna to wanna to move yourself and other people out of that vicinity. You, you need to get to safety in some ways, but you need to identify what's going on. You're gonna to need to see you know, where can you go, what can you do, and that's gonna be dangerous. It's, it's a tough, it, it's just a tough situation. There's, there's just no particular answer for it. Um, it is when you're in that situation, that's when you're gonna find out what, what you what you can do that's that's when it's going to happen there's no one who's going to be able to to 100 prepare you for that you can you can take courses you can get certification you can um, be a professional in that field uh, whatever but when that happens everything changes um the screaming and 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 the noise is it's just everything changes within that situation and and you're never sure how you're going to react so again, if you can just keep that jet of mind, it's why we do practice meditation in our hectic lives. So when something crazy goes down, we can kind of grab onto the center that we've built within ourselves and start looking at the situation um, as best as we can. Um, again, it's never easy. Uh, safety, just getting people out. Don't being the hero is not is not is not the the idea. Getting people to safety is the idea. Be that hero. Be that person, right? Get people out alive. Don't 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 try to attack. Don't don't get these delusions of grandeur of tackling a gunman and things like that. Like, just try to get people out. Try to get people someplace safe. That's the best you can do. You know, help those you can. If you're in a situation where you where you feel semi safe, as, as safe as you can be in that situation, right? Um, and there's injured people. You know, first aid training is why we encourage first aid training with like the Red Cross and things like that with the Jedi. Um, you know, do what you can to help the bleeding, to, to, to help injuries. Um, but again, you're going to have to see to your safety and you're going to have to try to get these people to someplace safe so they can be treated. The situations are going to be scary. Uh, they're they're, they're going to have a lot going on and you're just going to have to do what you feel is best in that situation. You know, be careful. Don't stand in the the the, the middle of an exit because people are going to be plowing through. You want to kind of like stick to the sides and uh, again seek shelter. You know, seek some sort of safety. Get outside of the venue if you can. Um, but you're just going to have to play each situation by ear in those in those circumstances. And then again afterwards. You don't have to stop just because you were involved in that situation, just because you were involved in the hurricane, just because you were involved in the earthquake or the shooting or whatever. Doesn't mean you have to stop. Doesn't mean you, you can't donate your time. Doesn't mean you can't, um, you know, donate materials such as blankets or food or things like that. Like, but again, what you can do, you have to, you don't, don't give everything that you have and, and make yourself broke and, and, and destitute. You know, take care of yourself. And then everything else that you can do thereafter is great, is wonderful, and yeah, definitely counts to our goals of service and, and helping other people out. But remember, service is a very multifaceted uh, aspect that we're talking about, because every day, we're not, we don't deal with this every day. We don't, we don't deal with crisis every day. So it's more about you know being support, being the sh shoulder to cry on, or being that pillar of strength emotionally, spiritually, even physically. Sometimes you know that all counts to service, defending those uh, in need, being a voice for the voiceless. That all counts towards service. You know, rendering aid, providing support. You know, again, you know, emotional support if necessary that all counts towards service. So there's many ways that, that service plays into our lives, but when these bigger events happen, there are much more tangible things you can do. So look to donate blood, look to donate goods, such as blankets and food and things of that nature. If you can donate money, great. Local charities tend to be the best, but always do your research. Charity watchdog if you need to, you know. Do, do your research, make sure your money's going to the place that you want it to go. See to yourself in that situation. You wanna make sure you're in a position to help before you go running off to help. Make sure you take check of your sphere of responsibility. That's a daily thing, right? It's like meditation, it's like awareness, self-discipline. These are all things that we do daily. These are daily things to help prepare us in case we are ever in the worst case scenario. 
So just see to your Jedi training and, and that way when it happens, you have a good idea of what your sphere of responsibility is, how you can help in that situation, what you need to do for yourself and then how that works outward. All right, everybody, uh, thank you for watching. You know where the buttons are. You can like, dislike, subscribe, unsubscribe, hit the bell notification, block, ban, whatever. May the force be with you.